Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Vermeil in Gold. It's pretty obvious why this MA series got kind of popular during the season that it aired in. It had a very attractive female character as the protagonist's love interest. It definitely got my interest. In this anime, the protagonist Alto gets good grades, and wants to become a powerful source one day. But for some reason, he can't summon a familiar. He is the only one who can't summon anything, and is looked down upon for it. In his desperation to summon a familiar, he uses an old grimoire. He is finally able to summon a familiar. It turns out though that he summoned one of the most powerful demons. Her name is Ramil. And because she is grateful for Alto releasing her from the grimoire, she agrees to become his familiar. So this is another typical fantasy anime series where everyone looks down at the protagonist, but it turns out he is strong. The sole reason why this anime series is even watchable is because of Ramil. She has a very attractive character design and personality is great. She wants to be close to Alto every chance she gets. She loves Alto as a person, and really likes kissing him as well. These kind of scenes got very intense at times, and it was enjoyable to watch. It didn't go as far as some etchy anime series, but the scenes still got very intimate at times. If you want to see some nice etchy scenes, you'll see plenty of that here. Besides etchy scenes, the other thing that got me to keep watching was her romantic development. It was great for one seeing two characters confess their love towards each other early on. You don't have to wait until the final episode for love confession. Their bond got really strong as a couple, as they learn more about each other's past, and they accept each other no matter what. There are plenty of sweet moments between them. The battles were decent in this anime series. It was just typical magical spells you expect out of fantasy anime series. It was enjoyable seeing characters coordinating their attacks with their familiars to create an unstoppable attack. There was a lot of playing strategy involved at times. The only issue of the battles is the final fights. The final fights had a frustrating anticlimactic ending that leave disappointed. It's like, just have a conclusive final fight. Don't tease us and make us have to read the light novel. In terms of the characters, I had mixed feelings about them. Alto is your typical spineless protagonist that feels shy around girls and gets bossed around a lot. I like how he'll do anything to protect for a meal, but his personality is very annoying at times. He easily gets embarrassed if he sees a girl undressed, and is often too shy to make the first move. He lets himself be bossed around by a soon to childhood friend named Lilia. Lilia was a very annoying character. If you think about the most generic soon to childhood friend, that is basically her. She says all the lines I've heard many times from soon to characters in the past. She constantly yells and gets annoyed at Alto which was annoying to watch. The opening song for his anime series was alright. The ending song didn't really stand out. The music during fight scenes was actually enjoyable to listen to at times. The music during romantic scenes was great. It really fit those scenes. It made those moments feel even more impactful and sweet. The animation style looked average. And the animation was decent during fight scenes. The plot for his anime series isn't anything special. But the romantic development and the character of Vermeil will keep you watching this anime series. I give this anime series a 7 out of 10. So that's all I'm talking about for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you find anything interesting video.